happy, healthy, wealthy healing day. We've got to put the wealth formula in there. On today, we're going to be talking about a few things that all have to do with money. The problem, the solution, the strategy, yes, and the accomplishment. Right? The financial markets are in meltdown, okay? So why are we talking about that? Because healthy finances, healthy finances is the mindset that we must, must absolutely embrace. We must embrace this um, responsibility, right? Your own, my own responsibility for our own family's financial health. So as a natural healer for 45 years, it's been um, really frustrating trying to put together how all this happens and realizing that it really is a context of oneness, oneness. Healthy, spirit, mind, body, family, finance, community, character, relationships, parenting, all of those. There are, there are 13 domains that we really have to get spiritually fit in, right? So that's, that's one of my mentors is talking to me, teaching me, and we're having this conversation about spiritual fitness and how really we're trying to fit things into our spirituality, into our life, when the fact of the matter is we're spiritual beings, right? Having a physical material experience and everything is in our spirit. So if we're not getting the results that we wanna have, we have to address it, right? As a spiritual being. So healthy finances, we want a healthy body. We want a healthy mind, right? So we have to have this conversation we get to, you choose to participate in this conversation about healthy finances now. Now, let me just say this. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of you who are following, on, following me on my Facebook page. And you can go there at Healthy Finances Now, at Healthy Finances Now, and follow the conversation. And then there's this special group of folks who are willing to take it a whole nother step further and meet me in our Facebook group. So we're ha we really are having a robust conversation about what is going on and what we have to do about it. What is the problem? What is the, the solution? Okay, what is the strategy? What is the strategy and how do we accomplish it? So we're gonna talk about that today. I'm so happy that you're here. So you know the drill, go get that blue pen and white paper and get ready to take copious notes because you are about to get that healthy finances information you've been seeking. So while you're doing that, let me just say that um, I've been talking about the market melting down for a while now. And, and, and I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you what's happening, you know, because I can see into the future, maybe, right? Um, but I watch what's going on. And the other part of it is, whether the markets are in meltdown or not, the family finances in the 95% uh, in the, in the of the American population has been in meltdown for a long time, right? So some people are doing very well and some people are doing not well at all and, the, and there seems to be almost no place in the middle anymore. So if you find yourself in that place that's becoming an abyss, okay, a financial abyss, it's time to make a change in your life, in your attitude, in your mindset. It's time to embrace money and finance and for a long time we as spiritual healers and 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 those of us who um are 
uh, have this concept that higher consciousness doesn't have anything to do with money, um, I'm here to tell you you are sadly mistaken because we are here in the material realm to master it. And money, the material part of it, we're here to master it. So let's talk about that, all right? I'm sure you're ready by now. You have your blue pen and your white paper. And I've got some notes here. And if you've been following uh, this, this new broadcast about healthy finances, as I've transitioned and incorporated it into our, our whole oneness wellness lifestyles, you can hear a thread of what it is I am leading you and guiding you to, right? You can begin to hear it. And what, what is that? What is that? I've been saying it the whole time right now. Healthy finances now. Having an abundant life in every area, every domain of your life, okay? So I'm inviting you to become a financial entrepreneur. I'm inviting you to become a cash flow entrepreneur. I'm inviting you to become a cash money accumulator, okay? How's that sound? Cash money accumulator. I'm inviting you to become a professional money educator, all right? So think about those things as we're having this conversation, all right? The other few things I'd like you to think about in terms of the thread is, do you know someone who could benefit from this information? And if so, and I know that you do, invite them to the conversation. Invite them to the conversation. With that, let me share with you that I am a licensed financial professional, okay, I have the credentials to talk about this. And I have the ability to offer you a free service to help you get on track, to help you get on track. Go to at Healthy Finances Now and inbox me and say you want the free strategy session with me. And I'd be happy. We can do it. <laughs> we, can, we can do it virtually. You can come to my offices in Uptown Charlotte and we can do it there. But the fact of the matter is we need to do it. Why? Because we need to address the problem, okay? We need to find what your solution is because everybody's solution is different. We're gonna find what your solution is, put the strategy together to accomplish that solution, all right? So the invitation is open. The invitation is open. So let's talk about it. We get no financial inf information, no financial education in school. Only four states in the whole country have a requirement for one semester of personal finance in high school, okay, just one. And so we learn all this stuff, right? We learn all this information and we learn to uh, uh, repeat it so that we can pass these tests and then we come out in the world with a piece of paper and the thing that we use every single day, money, we have no education on, none. So we've been trained to be workers and not entrepreneurs or business owners because you have to understand money to really do that uh, in, a res in a responsible and, and healthy way or you've got to bring on a CFO, you've got to bring on somebody who's licensed, who does understand that, but you have to first have the mindset to know how. So what does that do to families? What does that do to families? It's devastating, just look around, just look around. Now in your community, it may be gated and, and folks have all the things, right? And it looks real good. But what I have found in 20 years of being in this industry since 1998, that people are broke right up to their level of income. So you may have all the stuff, right? And, and feel like you have a good job, but you might be frustrated and dissatisfied in that quote unquote good job. And you get up every morning hating to go there, but you have to do it in order to make a living. So I know I'm giving you a broad picture, 
right? But I got to get everybody in this conversation. Everybody in this conversation. So if the folks who, who, who seemingly have it, right, are broke right up to their level of income, because most people are living two and a half times above the amount of money they actually bring in. So that means that they're in debt. They're in debt, okay? So if everybody needs to be in this conversation, it's important that we all begin to come together in a platform, on a platform, so we can have the conversation, right? Right? So let's, let's, let's pull this together. We don't get the education that we need, and we're not talking about it. We're not having a conversation. We're not willing to have somebody help us, all right? So in the context of that, we're going to continue with the, the, the show as it goes on. And so why am I laying it out like this? Why does it seem like I'm repeating myself? Because I really want to give you time in between my words and the, and the thought forms that I'm giving you to write down what I'm saying as it resonates with you and then also your own aha moments. Because I get that this ain't necessarily an easy conversation to have, okay? It's not necessarily an easy uh, thing to talk about because we've been not talking about it. And that's the habit, that we think that it is, um, it's my own personal business, I don't want nobody to know where I am with the money and, I don't, and, and the distrust that we have, right? And so you continue to run to the commercial banks and, and they keep moving the cheese, right? and you haven't been able to figure it out yet. So the solutions and the strategies exist and you can accomplish what you will with regard to your financial status, your money accumulation. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that as we continue